Hey guys, Coach Esther here, wanting to introduce your new habit to you coming up on Monday. This is habit six, and we are talking all about smart carbs. So just giving you a little bit of a heads up about what to kind of expect from this habit. Obviously, you'll learn a lot more about it once we get into the lessons regarding it, but just a little bit of info so that you can help prepare um, for the next couple of weeks. So this habit is not about removing carbs. I want to make that very clear that this is not uh, promoting a super low carb lifestyle, that sort of thing. It's about choosing ones that pack, pack kind of the biggest nutritional punch. So we're talking about starchy veggies like uh, winter squashes, pumpkin, that sort of thing, whole grains, leafy greens, vegetables like peppers, tomatoes, broccoli, even fruit and lentils are included in the smart carb habit. So um, you'll notice that some habits do mesh together really quite well. So obviously we just spent a good amount of time talking about veggies and the importance of those. And you'll find that there's some overlap in you know, veggies being also considered smart carbs. So what we mean by smart is that these foods are higher in fiber. They help con control blood sugar. They provide long lasting energy. They're great for brain function. You're good for your hormones. They're friendly to digestion and they are whole and unprocessed foods. So we are basically figuring out some ways to increase the smart carbs in your diet, which might first or might go hand in hand with swapping out some kind of not so smart foods. So foods, uh, so not so smart carbs. So by that I mean foods like candy, baked goods, desserts, maybe um, crackers made with white flour, kind of your traditional cracker, pasta made with white flour, most traditional cereals. And again, we're not talking about eliminating these things. We are just focusing on swapping in some smart carbs when we can and being mindful about it. So I've got kind of a list here of some smart carb swaps that I want to kind of talk through. And I'm not positive that you can see everything at once, but I'll go through the list. So starting with your regular cereal, which is likely made with uh, refined sugar, white flour, that kind of thing. So uh, focusing on cereals that might be made with whole oats, maybe quinoa flakes, buckwheat, buckwheat. So starting to spend a little bit more time maybe looking at the ingredients list of these foods and seeing where you can make a healthier swap. Similarly with regular pasta, there are a ton of other pasta options out there. One of my favorite is called Banza. It's a pasta made with chickpeas. So it's very high protein as well and it is uh, lower carb and less processed and, and you know smarter for all the reasons we talked about than your traditional white pasta. So that's a good option. There's even a brand that they sell at Costco that's made with chickpeas also. I'm not sure the name of it off the top of my head, but you can find them pretty, uh, pretty much everywhere. There are also pasta options with uh, red beans, with lentils, with whole wheat, obviously. Um, and if you are already doing those things, you could try subbing spaghetti squash for pasta or even zucchini noodles if you have a spiralizer. Um, next on the list we have lasagna. So I know that can be kind of a surprise. It's like, no, no, you need lasagna noodles to make lasagna. We all know that the flavor mostly comes from the sauce and the cheese and and really the noodles are kind of, you know, insignificant. So um, another option there is to use whole grain noodles, to use zucchini noodles, or even to use eggplant. I've made a really good eggplant uh, lasagna before. That's really tasty despite not having any noodles in it. We've got uh, regular crackers here. So if you kind of as a snack will have peanut butter on regular crackers, you can think about switching to a whole grain cracker, to maybe um, a sprouted cracker, or even a piece of fruit like an apple or a banana, or a veggie like uh, celery or carrots. If you do traditional or regular granola bars, you could try switching to whole oats to a trail mix that's gonna have less uh, sugar in it, or even making your own granola so that you can control what goes in it, like dried fruit and nuts and whole oats instead of you know kind of that filler stuff. If you already do whole grain bread, that's awesome. Um, ways to change that could be to try a sprouted bread 
or if you normally do a sandwich for lunch, you could switch to a quinoa salad that's gonna be higher in fiber, that's gonna have more protein, and that's gonna be a little bit less processed. And then lastly, on the rice front, you could try cauliflower rice, which I use all the time. You can even buy it already riced. And there are a ton of recipes out there for jambalayas or stir fries. I've even seen sushi recipes with cauliflower rice. So those are some ideas that you could try. Um, another thing I wanna mention is that this is not about, um, like I said, it's not about going eliminating carbs, it's not about going no carb, it's not saying that what you're already doing is bad, but we're trying to basically say whatever you're doing, switch it up a little bit and challenge yourself. So if whole wheats are your norm, if sprouted is your norm, try to get outside of that a little bit, challenge yourself to try something new, whether that's trying a salad instead, whether it's making your own bread, whether it's taking a meal that maybe you would think, I couldn't possibly eat this without a bread, and making a substitution there. So again, it's just kind of branching out of your comfort zone a little bit and figuring out where could I just make a swap. And it's not necessarily that what you were doing before was bad, it's just seeing if you can increase variety, if you can try some new flavors and textures, maybe a new recipe, just to kind of see. And the more variety you can get, get in your diet, the better, because you're gonna get more nutrients that way, and you're just gonna kind of expand your palate. Um, let me see if there's any, anything else. Um, yeah, I guess that, that kind of kind of sums it up. If you're already doing unprocessed whole grains, um, it's not about you know necessarily switching to something better. It's good, this can just be an experiment for fun of, you know, oh, I wanna try something new, I wanna change a flavor, get a little bit more variety. So basically just start wherever you're at, look at your choices and see where you can make small improvements. So for some of you, that's gonna be, oh, I've been doing white bread everything and I need to, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to, to change that a little bit. For others of you, who are maybe already making those smarter carb choices, it's gonna be about increasing variety, pushing yourself a little bit, getting a little bit of a challenge, but there should be something for everybody in this habit. Um, just basically alternate, alternating sources and seeing you know, if you find something new that you like, especially if you've been doing low carb for a while now and it hasn't been working for you, then your challenge here might be to add in some more smart carbs and see how that feels. This doesn't mean that eventually all of your carbs are gonna be leafy green veggies, um, but it is nice to get in that, um, you know, that variation in nutrients and flavor and textures. So for each day, you're gonna choose one of the following. You can swap in some higher fiber smart carbs and swap out lower fiber carbs. And you can do that at one meal or at every meal. That's just gonna depend where you are now and uh, you know, your, as your starting point. Or you can sub a smart carb for, you know, basically what you've been having is, is sugar um, for one or all meals. So the first option there is gonna be if you are maybe already making some smart carb choices and you're gonna increase those. And then the second option is if you know, this smart carb thing is kind of new and different for you, then your focus is gonna be on just incrementally adding in smart carbs where you can, and maybe not stressing about being every meal, but just trying to, you know, kind of test the waters with the smart carbs. So depending on where you're starting, it might look different for you, but just take a little bit and kind of assess your, your normal foods and try to figure out, you know, okay, am I, am I starting kind of at square one here and this is gonna be a new challenge for me? or am I relatively advanced with this habit and I'm going to be challenging myself in a different way uh, with this habit. So if you need help figuring out which sort of category you fall into or where you'd like to make some changes, feel free to reach out. And remember that you don't have to do this forever. This is just a two week experiment and we just want to, you know, want to see what it's like. So um, to check off the habit, just do at least one thing different or better than before each day. I'll talk to you soon.